Welcome, my friends. Welcome, students, to my virtual classroom. This is a smart way to learn. So what did you see and hear in the introduction? The moving cogs, the gears, represent you, my students. Next, we have the Way Game logo, which is being illuminated by a light bulb, the symbol of innovation and good ideas. Hello, Brian here. I'm your virtual teacher. Welcome to A Smart Way to Learn. Sorry I couldn't be there in person, but we can reach more teachers this way. We're going to jump right into the lesson. Lesson one is about the templates teachers use to plan lessons. Let's start with why. What are the benefits to stakeholders when you plan lessons digitally? I planned lessons for 30 of my 33 years using a traditional teacher planning book. In the last three years, I experimented with creating templates and planning lessons digitally. Here's why. I was more accountable to those I served. I used to post my lessons at the end of the school day for several good reasons. If a student was away for any reason, they could always see what they missed. No need to stop the lesson when a brother or sister appears at your door looking for homework. Virtual learning, I predict, will continue in some form. Having your lessons posted online saves teachers time and is a convenient way for students to revisit what was taught. Preserving lessons for future was important. My lessons got better from year to year. If I didn't present what was planned that day, I could easily move it to the next day. I encourage teachers to find digital textbooks and online resources that help students learn independently. I suggest you create a class website I used something called eBoard. It's inexpensive and functional. You can use whatever. Post tests and assignments, dates, quizzes, reviews, pictures of students' work and the like. Build it and the students and parents will come. This helps make your classroom transparent and builds trust with parents. Stop writing on the board. It gets erased at the end of the day. It's not an effective use of time. Lessons written in traditional lesson planning books don't have the impact like posting digital lessons online. The benefits of collecting online resources are many. Let's continue with the goal of helping our students become independent learners. Digital lesson plans are available 24-7. Many of these can provide practice and feedback. Resources like Khan Academy are free and fantastic. And by the way, Saul Khan is one of my virtual heroes. Here's a question. Who are your mentors? Who do you trust for advice? You'll have many mentors in your life. Some you'll know, some you won't. Listen and lean on the advice of others. Another benefit is the ease in which you can organize and quickly find lessons or pieces of lessons. The ability to drag and drop board notes, diagrams, student work, whatever is done, is done quickly and easily from one day to the next. Drag and drop daily lessons into your unit plans at the end of the day when you post your lessons online. It's very telling when you can see lessons one after another. The more online resources you can find to teach with, the more independent your students become. Although traditional textbooks won't crash, they do wear out. Managing textbooks is just one less thing on a teacher's plate. Look to use other teachers' lessons whenever possible. That's why I'm encouraging teachers to create a single lesson and post it on Smart Exchange. I'm also asking school districts to create their own lesson plan banks. Think of how the quality of instruction would improve if teachers could draw upon such a bank. Digital lesson planning is more interactive for students. Students are more engaged when they know their efforts will be shared. It gets students out of their seat and interacting with the lesson and their classmates. Digital lesson planning, the smart way, utilizes a common graphic organizer 
called cap notes. There's a video on how to use cap notes, so I won't get into it now. But you'll see a single cap note on the top of each template. You'll also have a background image. I've included some of my photographs, which can be replaced with your photographs if you like. Background images can be used as writing prompts, storytelling, meditation, art, just use your imagination. Next, you'll notice a big image of a microphone and smaller microphones. These are the mini podcasts that cover a single topic. The large mic introduces the main objective of the lesson. You'll see small YouTube videos. Watch these videos to help you learn the system. Next, there's our wish for all students who come upon this site, and that is to be happy, healthy, wealthy, and wise. Remind students of this every day and that their actions have consequences in these four areas every school day. Q&As, questions and activities for the way game are next. As students go through the lessons, students are actively thinking about the lesson's content in a holistic way by having to create questions and activities for the way game. Each of the seven games are designed to develop a different set of skills. The games require teamwork, preparation, and improvisation skills. There's a little bit of mystery thrown into the way game as well. You never know who you will play with or against, what the game will be, or its outcome. Students will work with classmates they normally wouldn't choose if they had a choice. This is important for the development of better relationships in class. Every game requires two players on a team, so you always win or lose as a team. There are seven games. Each game is designed to develop a different set of skills. Holistic learning encourages empathy. Students are encouraged to look at a person, place or thing from the lesson through empathetic eyes. Pull the pull tabs. There are seven pull tabs on each page. There's the ask, the attitude, skills and knowledge of the lesson. These are our objectives. Next, there's lesson materials pull tab. What needs to be collected, passed out, shared, printed, cut out and so on. Then there's the volunteer tab. If the teacher has a parent volunteer, then the volunteer will help. How can teachers save time? Recruit a parent volunteer to help manage the way game. Four other tabs are joke of the day, quote of the day, about the author, and the wow of the lesson. Use the white space on your templates to write on and extend the lesson as you go through it. I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about smart notebook. It's seen changes over the years and there's been growing pains. Many teachers aren't using their smart boards. I get it. More time and trouble than they're worth. Let's not forget all the new applications a smart way to learn has to offer here. The way game, digital lesson planning, and the creation of a lesson plan bank are three reasons to use notebook software. Let's not lose sight of who these smart boards are used for, and that's the education of students. They get the benefits of being able to see and hear better with a big screen and big sound. They're the ones front and center, out of their seats, showing their skills to their classmates. Students are the ones accessing work from home and helping them answer the question, what did you learn in school today? I think more teachers should use SMART because of Smart Exchange and Lumio, formerly known as Smart Learning Suite Online. SMART has a great infrastructure to support teachers. More teachers need to support SMART, and they will when they understand the benefits to all. So invest some time, let's work together, learn the software, learn how to lesson plan digitally, learn how to share your lessons like never before.